back to the 2022 presidential debate. Hashtag Halalang 2022. Your vote is your voice. Let's hear the closing statements for the four candidates running for presidency. Miss De La Rosa, you're the first one to talk. A pleasant day, everyone. Ten years ago, I never could have imagined that I would be able to stand there in front of everyone as a woman who's running as a president. First thing first, I would like to introduce myself for some of you who didn't know me. I'm Ruiz Avila Kirksey De La Rosa, who always dream of helping our countrymen to be heard and to be treated equally. How will I convince the people to choose me? Well, that's a good question. As you may not know, I'm not forcing each and every one of you to choose me because I know that everyone has a different perspective and beliefs and all of us have the right to choose freely without regrets. But I promise that I will not let your expectation fail and I will genuinely do my best to guide our beloved country to have a better future and to raise every man, woman, and child's voices to be heard. As what former President Kennedy said, as what, as not what the country can do for you. As what you can do for the country and what together we can do to have a freedom of man. Thank you. Mr. Ramos, tell us your closing statement. I'm Hans Ramos, former secretary of the AFCS Association and current treasurer of our nation and is running for presidency this 2022. To make the people vote for me, the very first thing I would like to do is to take action and bring my projects to fruition to help those who are in need. One of my sample projects is the road widening and waste management that I have implemented in Taguig City. If I were to become the next president of this country, I would like to fix the transport system to make it more efficient and to avoid rush hours or road accidents. I don't just speak the change, I also make the change. Once again, I am Hans Ramos, running for this presidency this 2022. Mr. Julio, this is your time to talk. My beloved countrymen, our nation needs a leader who has the quality to change our country and become a great in the future. Your candidate is a man of integrity. If I become your president, I will make it a point that every individual has the right to be heard by the president and to be treated fairly and equally. May our countrymen belong to what we call our poverty line. As president of the republic, that will be my main objective. No one shall be hunger, that is my promise. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Julio for president of my beloved country, the Philippines. Next, Mr. Remaliate. Good day, my fellow citizens. As most of you know, I am Dristen Roch G. Remeliete, and I am one of the four candidates for presidency. I am here to use my power to help those citizens who are in need. I will fight for the rights of everyone, and I will do my best to guide all citizens to the right path. We will all rise from poverty, and no one will be left behind. If you vote for me, I will assure you that you are in your good hands. Again, my name is Dristen Ross Jiremeliete. Vote for me. Vote wisely. So, you have heard their closing statements. You have the power to vote who is the candidate you think deserves the position of the President of the Philippines. And that's it. That's the end of 2022 presidential debate. Hashtag Halalan2022. Your vote is your voice. Vote wisely. Thank you and God bless everyone. <laughs>